Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Indy, and today I will be showing you guys another comic book haul. So before I start, I want to apologize to my viewers that I have been sick for a week. I have not been posting anything. New Year's was a big shebang. Things went crazy. I didn't go that crazy, but I got sick anyway. So here they are. Um, there are some from a couple weeks ago that I didn't um, a couple weeks ago that I didn't post in December. So here they are. So get ready, guys. I read a few of them, but I have not read the this week's ones. So let's begin. So Harley Quinn issue thirteen, very funny. Um, it ends it ends on a sour note because Power Girl leaves because she figures out her memories. Superior Iron Man issue three. Um, basically, Daredevil gets his vision. Um, they're talking. They're you know they're fighting and arguing, and that's about it. I'm sorry, guys. I I I can't review it with this voice. It's kind of killing me right now, and I really try my best. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Spider-Man issue 12 part 4 a spider-verse. I have not read this one, but the cover looks super interesting It's always keeping me intrigued with this new spider-verse thing. So yeah, pick this one up guys World's end coming in with like these new brand new art. That's so artistic. I mean look at these Awesome. I have not read these yet. So and Squirrel Girl, issue number one. I'm kind of excited to read this. I've heard so much that she can just like kick any of Marvel's evil doers' ass and just, you know, be funny about it. It's not like a Deadpool stabby stabby or Harley Quinn's sexual... Whatever. Anyway, this one's really uh, interesting and I'm going to read this soon. And my last thing that I got is Red Hood and the Outlaws, uh, Volume 5. I'm a little disappointed with this book um, as the writing and the art keeps, you know, diving down for me. The first two volumes were just super solid. This one, it's like I felt like I've already read it yet. Stories that I don't think really matter, like, you know, the story about Lobo and stuff. I mean, there's still a lot of ass-kicking and action if you want there, but still, it's not that interesting. I mean, yes, there is Red Hood, you know, you know, you have Arsenal, you have Starfire. They're doing the same stuff, they're doing the same personality, they're still kicking ass, but that's about it. Nothing really changes with them, and they kind of get boring after a while. And so, before I let you guys go, I have some news. I will be doing a top 5 comic of 2014, um, maybe this, this week or next week before I do my next comic book haul. So stay tuned for that. And here's a little preview of what number five is. You know it. So thank you guys again. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or any recommendations of reads, please comment up below. I'm about to cough, this is awful. Uh, so thank you, thank you guys again, and bye. <laughs>